Hello viewers and welcome to this week's motivational moment. Today I want to read with you one of my favorite scriptures from the book of Psalm, Psalm 1. And it says, Oh the joys of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or stand around with sinners, or join in with mockers. But they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. They are like trees planted along the river bank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither and they prosper in all they do wow what a promise god has given us this amazing promise in the word of god that if we meditate on his word day and night we will prosper in everything we do wow in every season of life in every sphere of life you will prosper that word prosper in hebrew is the hebrew word salah and it literally means to advance to make profit, to be successful, or to break out. God has promised us that we will advance in our relationships, in our finances, in our sphere of work, in our careers. We will break out. We will grow from glory to glory. But the secret, secret is first of all, not hanging around the wrong crowd, but taking delight in God's word. A lot of people believe in God's word, but not too many people delight in God's word. Wow. Um, the book of Psalm, David talks so much about delighting in God's word. And I believe that when we begin to delight, when we begin to take pleasure, that's what that word means, in God's word, we will begin to see God automatically advance and push us forward in every area of life. Why? Because God sees the heart and he knows that when you take pleasure in his word, you are seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And the promise, every other thing will be added. That's the advancing. So today, I want to pray that you would fall in love with God's word, that you would understand that even God himself exalts and magnifies his word above his name. We need to place more value on God's word. We need to submit to God's word. We need to believe God's word more than our emotions, more than our circumstance, and take delight in meditating on God's word. Biblical meditation is thinking brilliantly about God and anticipating His goodness. I pray that this week you will think brilliantly about God. You will see a God who is more than enough, who can save you, who can deliver you, who can meet all your needs according to His riches and glory. I am Pastor Bill, and this is my motivational moment. God bless you.